I think when I say I have 23 housemates, people are like, whoa, what's that like? That sounds wild. But actually, it's quite nice, I think. I moved to Cohabs because I didn't really know anybody and it's really nice to already have a community here. As you grow older, making friends as an adult gets more challenging. I thought it would be a good kind of boots on the ground situation and like build more roots in New York. There's a lot of similarities between living in a dorm in college and living in this building with some certain key differences. One, I think everyone's a lot more respectful because everyone's more of an adult and more matured. The other big thing, this place is a lot less cliquey. Hi, welcome. This is one of the Cohabs buildings in Brooklyn, New York. Come on in. I'm Ishan Abesekara. I'm 33 years old. I live in Brooklyn, New York with 23 other housemates and I pay $2,100 a month in rent. I moved to New York from London towards the end of 2022. I grew up in Sri Lanka, so I was anyway away from home for work opportunities. So I thought, hey, why not give this a shot and see what it's like? For the first two months after I moved to New York, the company I work for put me up in Fidei near the office in a one bedroom apartment, sort of overlooking Battery Park. When I was looking for an apartment, I was actually very new to New York. I was sort of looking for something in the 2000 to 3000 a month rent range. I looked at a few places in the East Village, was thinking of a place in Greenpoint. It was pretty scattergun. I moved into the Cohabs building at the end of December 2022. So I just googled communal living Brooklyn and Cohabs was one of the companies that came up. What I kind of really liked about this house was when I came in to see it, there was a bunch of people sort of having dinner together. I'd sort of also seen a studio apartment in the East Village, but I was like, how do you really meet people when you're new to a city? And this seemed like a great way to do that. So here I am. When I moved in, I paid $18.50 as a security deposit, which was what my rent was at that time when I moved in. I was in a different room at the time, which was much smaller. So this is our living room. This is where most of the socializing sort of happens in this sort of living room and kitchen space ahead. Everyone has their locker where they keep their foodstuffs. We've got all these fridges which we share. And then we've got the hobs and sinks and dishwashers over there. And some people actually even use this space as a working from home space. This is my fridge which I share with three others and where I keep my groceries. Sharing a kitchen with so many people is completely fine. You have your own cupboard to leave your stuff in. We have six fridges which are shared amongst 24 people. Everyone has their own shelf and there's like shared freezer spaces. Generally, everyone cooks for themselves. Occasionally, we do things where we cook together and cook for each other. I don't actually cook that often, to be completely honest. This is my bedroom. It's got some nice windows, lots of natural light bed which you can sort of move around with tons of storage space underneath. My bedroom came with a bed, a bedside light, a desk, a desk lamp, a basket for your dirty clothes, a waste paper basket. Here I actually have a walk-in closet which is really nice. So right now the room I have is one of the biggest rooms in the house. This is my bathroom, I share it with one other person. Overall, in my experience, there hasn't been any big challenges with so many housemates. And I think the main reason for that is that there's so much shared amenities and space that you're never really in each other's way. And everyone has their own space in terms of their own room. Once I had to wait 15 minutes for the shower, which, you know, in one and a half years, I think is fine. So here's our terrace. It's a really nice sort of small outdoor space. I sometimes like to come here and read a book, or if I'm working from home, I might sometimes come here, have some lunch whilst I'm looking at some emails. Actually, right there is my bedroom window with all the books. 
So this is one of our working from home spaces. I don't really use it much because I'm in the office five days a week. This is one of the mini kitchens. Every floor has one. People don't really do a lot of cooking here. There's a microwave. It's like a little fridge where you can also store some of your food if you want. So this is our rooftop. I really like the view from here. You can sort of see the downtown skyline over there, the midtown skyline over there, the Tower of Mordor over there. So this is our basement. Here we have our laundry rooms, three washers, three dryers, two irons. Pretty handy to have that. I hear that this is a luxury in New York. And this is the rest of our basement. So we have like a TV room here, also some bike storage. This sofa is actually so big, we could fit all 24 people in the house on this sofa and still have rooms to spare. We've got some machines here, some weights, a bench. I sometimes come here and sort of do a workout alone or with others in the house. Actually over here, we have like a, a challenge with people in the house on this board. I'm part of the pull-up challenge, even though I'm really bad at pull-ups, but here we are. <laughs> One can try. Despite the fact that people are moving in and out regularly, I think it's pretty easy to make friends. Certainly if people are only here for three months, it's a bit hard to make a connection, especially when everyone's got their own thing going on. But that said, in this house, most people have been around since I joined for a year on average, and that's a good amount of time to make friends. There's not a lot that would make me move out. I mean, never say never. You're always open, but perfectly happy here right now. I really, really love the energy of New York and I feel like I would still love that energy in New York no matter where I lived. But certainly being here has really helped me build a community and make friends and really enrich my life. I think I've met some people who I feel like I'll still be friends with when I'm 60. I mean, there's certainly some people who've actually already left the house who I'm still in touch with. And yeah, it's been great.